Yeah, hi there. These comments are for Kiowa. This is Michael Buckoff from BetterTofelScores.com. I have to apologize getting to your essay here. It took a while. I'm in the middle of final exam week at Cal State University, San Bernardino, and I just graded a huge stack of papers. Check this out so you don't think I'm just lazy here. Look at this. I just graded all these papers right here. And probably in a few months from now, you'll be doing the same thing. You might be taking a university class, taking some writing and stuff. But uh, anyway, let's get to your essay, see how you're doing. So um, the question here is, do you agree or disagree with the following statement? Coaches are the best teachers. Use specific reasons and examples to support your answer. All right, let's look at your introduction. Coaches have the same influence on the young people like family or teachers do. Lots of people will not agree with that statement, but through sports, you have, you need the H in there, through sports, comma, com, uh, uh, use an S and then put a comma, we can learn how to deal with obstacles in our life. Coaches are not just training students, they have to be parents, teachers, psychologists, and friends uh, to their students. Ah, uh, hmm. I don't know. Let's look at your topic sentences in your in the your two body paragraphs. The first one says, "I used to train athletics professionally." I don't think that's very good. Because the, the, the purpose of a topic sentence, especially in this kind of uh, writing, is to make an argument or to make what's called an assertion and then defend that. But you begin that paragraph with a sentence. Not a good idea. You have to begin, first of all, I agree that coaches are better teachers because. Let's look at your second topic sentence. From training athletics, I learned how to deal with obstacles in my life. Again. It makes sure that the, the topic sentence you use goes back to the question. The question is, are coaches good teachers? You agree or you disagree, right? So that topic sentence there needs to go back to that question. So um, I don't know. I think from a, from a organizational standpoint, your paper's not looking too good right now. It's, it's not looking uh, actually very, very good. Let's keep going. Uh, I used to train athletics professionally you mean athletes here the noun not the adjective my teammates and I uh, now not have spent spent a lot of time with their coach that is why I can say he had a big influence I mean that period we were training every day my coach gave us different exercises to prepare us for competitions he always knew what everyone in our club needed you have need to become better because he was a very good coach everyone in our club had very good results so be careful you're having some trouble with the present versus the past here. You're talking about something in the past. I think past perfect tense is the most appropriate tense here. Your next paragraph, you say, From training athletics, I learned to deal with obstacles in my life. When I had a hard time during the season, the coach always helped me to pass my crisis. In these situations, he had to also be a good psychologist. Uh, after that, every time I went, I have a hard time. I remember what my coach used to tell me. Sports also helps me to be a determined, not detriment, to be a determined and a hard worker. You have a fragment there, maybe put a comma, which helps me to finish my university and be good at my work. Finally, or from above all mentioned examples, we can see that coach is the best teacher because he or she is more than a teacher. My belief is that my coach didn't just help me to be good in athletics. He also prepared me for my hardest competition called life. Oh, I don't know. Probably not too good here. So I think in the beginning, you need a more sharply focused thesis. And you're on my writing lesson too anyway. So I don't think that your thesis works very well. So you can go back to the video and look at some of the sample thesis statements. I have in the um, in, in that video uh, and then the topic sentences in the body paragraphs they don't really connect back uh, to 
your thesis and back to the question. And there's not really any personal or specific detail, any, you say crisis in your life, but you don't say what it was. You have to be more specific than that. You have to say, well, one time when I was having difficulty passing my biology class, my coach, blah, 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 whatever. So you need more specific ideas in those body paragraphs. You need a much better organization and you can even improve your grammar a little bit. So how would this essay score? That's what you want to know, right? Probably, I don't know, probably between 2.5 and 3.0 uh, on the uh, TOEFL IBT writing. So maybe you might be looking between 14 and maybe 16 or 17 points if you're lucky. So definitely you need to organize better, develop your ideas better, and polish the writing a little bit more. So in addition to reviewing the TOEFL writing lesson two, you probably also need to work a little bit in that TOEFL grammar lesson one, two, three, and four. I notice you're having a lot of trouble with punctuation and also with combining your sentences and I can give you some good instruction uh, to help you with that too. So anyway, thank you for making your comments at my website and keep working hard.